Thanks for being here, Alexander. Thank you, Lauren, for inviting me to be on the Daily Bell. During your time in Serbia, there was quite a war. Serbia had been partially responsible for the war, among many other countries and reasons. The war had been a long time coming at that point, but it indeed must have been quite an experience to live through. Yes, Lauren, you can say that for sure. Many emotions and hardships are Yeah, so before I was educated at the Imperial Russian Court, and my father was one that sent me there. And I went to St. Petersburg after, where I entered the Russian Imperial Court's pages. And from that point in my life, I headed back to Serbia, where I was crowned instead of my brother. back, what were some ideas you had about the war, and what were some of your takes on it? Well, I started off as commander of the Balkan War, which was a wonderful war that I led to victory. I was appointed regnant of Serbia by my dear friend King Peter. Also in World War I, I served as Commander-in-Chief in the Armed Forces, so I'm a little bit important. In December, I created um, the Kingdom of Serbs, Croatia, and Slovaks. So, you have taken a I'm very honored that I had the opportunity to be crowned, especially the fact that I came to power in a tumultuous time. And the fact that I was proven to be a good leader before I was crowned, like the time that I led us to victory in the Balkan Wars. Those were very hard times for us, but we persevered. And I feel it was a good decision to make myself Supreme Commander. It's great how you feel about the look of your success. Now, tell me a little bit about your ideas and plans that you had throughout Albania and what happened afterwards. Well, it was fairly simple, really. I withdrew my army and then was refitted and reorganized. I then led my troops to victory at the Velasco Front. And after the series of events, I then led them to the unification of the Serbs, the Croats, and the Slovans. Well, I have accomplished many great things in my lifetime, but I'd say that the dream of my predecessors and the unification of the Southern Slavs was really important to me. I also feel that something not only important to me, but to my country, is the fact that I changed the name to Yugoslavia. The idea that I establish a dictatorship and abolish parliament. Dictatorship is a no-no! I'm also very happy with the way that I shaped our country as it is now. It's a great place to be. That's a very tough question, especially to know that people out there do not agree with my decision as a rule. Even as aggressive as it poses, I really hope that they can deal with it and accept the fact that I know what I'm doing as a leader and I'll do what is best for my country. Wow, sounds inspiring. This has been Lauren Johnson reporting for The Daily Bell. See you next episode. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure to be here.